Basahin po sana natin ang kasunduan ito, hindi bilang sila at kami, kundi bilang nagkakaisang tayo sa ilalim ng bandilang Pilipino. Tapos na po ang panahon ng hindi pagkakaunawan. At kung isipin natin ang kapakanan ng isa't isa, oras na lang ang usapan. Oras na lang bago matapos ang karasan. Oras na lang bago maabot ang normalidad sa buhay ng mga Pilipinong nasa Bangsamoro. Alam po ninyo, may edad na rin ako. At mas may edad po ng kaunti sa akin si Alhads Murad. Darating ang panahon pareho kaming wala na sa poder. Nagkakaisa po kami sa hangaring magpamana sa susunod na salin lahi ng mas mabuting sitwasyon sa mga bahagi ng Mindanao na matagal nang pinupunit ng hidwaan. At dahil po sa kasunduan ito, pwede na kami mangarap. Malapit na ang panahon na kapag may dayuhang bibisita sa Pilipinas kasama ang mga lalawigan ng Bangsamoro sa listahan na kanyang pupuntahan. Malapit na ang panahon na ang gustong magbakasyon sa pagudpod, pwede na rin sa salumog punta. Magiging pareho ang kalaman ng kabataan papasok sa eskwela sa Quezon City man o sa Lamitan. Magpa-ospital ka man sa Pasig o sa Patikul, magagamot ang iyong karamdaman. Lalago ang iyong negoso sa Marikina o sa Marawi ka man mamuhunan. Today we signed a framework agreement that can finally seal genuine lasting peace in Mindanao. In full view of the Filipino people and witnessed even by our friends from different parts of the world. We commit to peace. A peace that will be sustained through democratic ideals. A peace that heals and empowers. A peace that recognizes the many narratives of the Filipino people and weaves them into a single national aspiration for equitable progress. I first had the opportunity to interact with Chairman Murad in Japan in August of 2011. Back then, some commentators expressed concern. I was criticized for supposedly demeaning the presidency by meeting with a rebel group. But I approached the meeting with Chairman Murad as a fellow Filipino, not as combatants with opposing views, but as fellow victims of a non-responsive system which has so often driven our people towards bloodshed and suffering. We looked at each other as brothers, responsible and committed to the attainment of the aspirations of our people. I must confess that this is the first time in my life to step on the grounds of Malacanang. Today, I am here not as a tourist, nor as a politician who seeks personal political favors from the President of the Philippines, but as the humble chairman of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, mandated by our brothers and sisters on the ground, and by the Bangsamoro people to witness and a historic agreement with the government of the Republic of the Philippines under the leadership of President Benigno Simon Aquino III would, inshallah, usher in a just, enduring peace in the Bangsamoro homeland. Today, after almost 16 years of hard negotiations, interspersed with armed confrontations on the ground, we have ink the most important document in the chapter of our history, a landmark document that restores to our people their Bangsamoro identity and their homeland, their right to govern themselves and the power to forge their destiny and future with the, with the very hand. Thank you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with all of us. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.